need to get a remote for this camera. All right, so I'm putting together a post that's called the five natural science remedies that actually work. So over the last, I don't know, year or two, I've had a lot of improvements with natural um, science relief that doesn't involve antibiotics, which weren't working for me anyway. And I wanted to put together a post that goes over some of the ones that did work and some of the ones that did not work for me well. So my number one go-to supplement is the strangest thing ever. It's called NAC, which is N-acetylcysteine. This has helped me more than anything else to overcome sinus allergy symptoms, uh, runny nose, uh, getting sick from going out drinking with friends. It's also a really, really good liver detox. If you do drink, you should take this anyway. Um, there is a caveat to this. It's my go-to supplement. It takes a little while for it to build up in your body. So everyone is different, but I feel like I have to take it for a month or two, once or twice a day um, in order to get the real benefit. And it's, it's kind of like a maintenance dosage. The drawback, <clears throat> like if you are sick or you have a sinus infection, this can really help you. The drawback is if you take two to six capsules a day, it can really, really dry you out. So like if you're up north or there's a heater on and it's cold outside and the air in your place is really, really dry, it's kind of hard to sleep at night if you take too much of this because you're like so just dry. I don't know how else to explain it. But this is my number one supplement, uh, my go-to supplement for, for sinus stuff. This is what keeps me in check. I don't get sick nearly as much by taking this. Um, I've tried out a bunch of different brands. There's really, the reality is there's only uh, two or three manufacturers in the world that, that make this stuff, like the good stuff. And most of them supply all the major companies. Life Extension is a good one. Jaro Time Release one is a good one, although the time release part is questionable. Now Foods is pretty much the same thing, but it's a little cheaper. I get mine on Amazon. This will last me, geez, months, and it's like 20 bucks. Uh, I'll link that up below the video for the right one. And I use 600 milligram tablets. And like if I was just starting out, I would take one in the morning and one in the evening. I do that for a few weeks. And then like right now, I just take one in the morning and that's it. But if you are suffering from a sinus infection or you have allergies, you can uh, double up or triple up that dosage and it will help you dramatically. If you've never tried NAC, definitely get on it. The next thing is um, this. This is relatively new. I've only known about this for about a month. And this is like the number one secret ingredient that I've found to reduce the, when your lymph nodes or whatever is in your throat and all this stuff, your, your lymphatic system starts to swell up. For people that have bad sinus and allergy problems, it can, it can put pressure like on the ear cavities. So when this starts to swell up, it expands and you can feel it in your ears. Your ears get clogged up. They don't drain as well. If you don't address it, you get an ear infection. A lot of people suffer from that. This is the only thing that I've ever found that I can put in my ears that dramatically reduces that pretty much overnight. All you do, and I'm not gonna do it right now because it makes a huge mess and you gotta have cotton balls. All you do is you put a few drops, you tilt your head to one side, you put a few drops in this ear, and then kind of raise your head to here so that it can drain down into your ear tubes, and then put a cotton ball in and then do the other side. This is called Combination CBG Extract in Nature Sunshine. I've never tried any other brand. This isn't something that I found by searching on the internet. I stumbled into this. I was on a snowmobiling trip last month with one of my uncles, and I saw this stuff in the bathroom, and I asked him about it, and I saw him putting it in his ears, and I was like, what the hell are you doing? And he's like, oh, this is an herbal thing that a chiropractor told me about 20 years ago to where when I travel like into the winter and we're out in the snow, his lymph and lymphatic system was swelling up because of the drastic temperature change, and he's older too. And um, <clears throat> he was also, why else was he using it? Something to do with, he was just swelling up from the temperature change, and I think maybe just allergies from the camp, because there was like a wood-burning stove and stuff like that. And it didn't make any sense to me at the time. He put it in his ears, and I was like, what the hell is he doing putting this shit in his ears? And then the next day, or later that day, the same thing was happening to me a little bit, and uh, I think what happened was we went on a snowmobiling trip up into the mountains and it got a lot colder than we thought and our helmets were too tight and we were all bundled up and we were trying to stay warm and all of us, like our heads, I think, swelled up a little bit or were swollen. I'm telling you what, I put this stuff in, woke up the next day, I was totally fine. And then it's the pollen here is at an all time high in Florida. And yesterday I started to feel the symptoms of a sinus infection coming on from some drainage that I had, just like clear mucusy drainage. And uh, I could feel a little bit of swelling up from just allergies and in the ears. I put this stuff in my ears last night. 
good to go today. Can't can't recommend this enough. Again, super cheap, 20 bucks. I got this on Amazon. It's not a prime item, um, but it was the only place that I could find it, and it was still less than 20 bucks. So good buy there. Um, when I travel, <clears throat> a lot of times, if your immune system is compromised or you have sinus allergy drainage, and you go to travel, it's a good idea to have antifungal and antiviral supplements. Oregano oil and olive leaf extract. These two have helped me a lot. Um, I don't take these all the time, but they are, when I am experiencing sinus infection symptoms, I will take these because a lot of times what happens is until I can fix the drainage, there's nothing to stop that, that mucus and that infection that's starting. It, it drains you know, down the back of your throat, it can infect the tonsils, it can give you infections in the chest or in the stomach. And just generally, uh, you know, if you're starting to fight something off or an infection that's building and your body's trying to fight it off, you can be susceptible to picking up other things. So I take these two as antivirals. Um, I don't take them simultaneously usually. Uh, the oregano oil, I can't remember which one it is, either the olive leaf, leaf or the oregano. One of them, when you take it, you can kind of smell it on yourself if you're really sensitive to that. That'd be the only drawback to these. Other than that, I've heard of some people um, with sensitive stomachs having a little bit of nausea, but they probably took it without food. Some of them say that it's, it's a greater, oh, I forgot to mention that too. The NAC is more effective without food, but some people can't tolerate it. I personally don't feel anything right away when I take this. I can take as much of this with no ill effects possible. Um, I don't know about side effects and all that kind of stuff. I've never had any. I researched it a long time ago. As far as I know, you can take 2,000 milligrams of this a day with no issues whatsoever, zero side effects. The other thing that really helps me, my top five, <clears throat> is a probiotic pill. So a lot of times, and I'm not a doctor, I don't specialize in this kind of stuff, and I might use the wrong terminology every now and then, but a lot of times what can happen with some of the like post nasal drip infections, you never know if the sinus allergy stuff or when that stuff gets in there, if, if it could be caused by uh, a fungus or a virus, when that mucus builds up in there and it doesn't get expelled from the body in the right places, there's all types of stuff floating around in your saliva and in your body and things like that. And one of the things that can make a big difference is to take a probiotic pill and put it in your neti pot. Well, actually, I don't use a neti pot anymore. I use this sinus rinse thing from Neil Med. It works way, way better than a neti pot, but I'll get to that in a second. The, um, you can, I mean, obviously you can take probiotics on an empty stomach like in the morning before breakfast, and it works really well too. But to restore the healthy um, <clears throat> bacteria and, you know, I don't know the right terminology, but you understand what I'm trying to say. You put probiotics in, your, in a neti pot, and by getting it into the sinuses, you're inducing it directly into um, the right area. And then obviously it flows down a little bit into the back of the throat and everything else. It's a great way to, uh, to fix, fix up your sinuses if you really need to. You just break open a capsule and pour it in, and then you can even use you know, the saline mix that comes with these things. As you can see, I've tried so much stuff, it's ridiculous. I've tried um, crazy things that I wouldn't recommend. Uh, stuff that I found on YouTube, like putting uh, betadine <laughs> in a, uh, uh, what do you call it? It's basically like topical iodine for cuts and bruises like they'd have in an ER, or they were gonna do surgery, they'd wipe you down in this stuff. I put this in a neti pot, done that. Uh, I've done hydrogen peroxide, I've done coconut oil, I've done <clears throat> the powdered vitamin C, I've done all kinds of crazy stuff that you don't really wanna try because in my experience, I didn't have a, like once <clears throat> I already have something going on, this really doesn't help clear it up for me. It'll help clear it out, like if you're stuffed up, but it's not really addressing the root cause. And you want to thin that mucus and give the body the ability to expel it uh, the best that it can. And NAC does that 100%. The CBG uh, will also help keep your ears from getting infected from that drainage. Because as it thins, it's still going to drain. <clears throat> and it's going to take some time. I've tried all kinds of things like mega dosing vitamin C. This is supposed to be some of the best vitamin C that you can get. It's got, um, I don't know, all the extra stuff in there that you're supposed to take with vitamin C and it's super high potency. Um, but as far as directly impacting my sinus infections or my sinus allergy symptoms, it hasn't really done much. Tried megadosing of vitamin D3. Um, 
that kind of gives me loose stool and fucks up my sleep schedule. Um, I've tried everything, man. Apple cider vinegar, every nose spray you can imagine. I think this Nutribiotic nasal spray has great, it's a grapefruit seed extract. I don't know, some bullshit that I bought into that didn't do anything. Um, I mean, everything you could possibly imagine. I'm going to cut this video off and then I'm going to break the videos up. I'm going to talk about the neti pot versus the sinus rinse bottle. <clears throat> and then I'm going to talk about some of the nose sprays and um, the products that didn't work or what didn't work for my sinus allergy symptoms like ongoing and uh, break that up so it's easier for people to find.